Hey everybody, and uh, well, if you haven't heard the news yet already, uh, Sega has announced, and we have the footage here in the background, the uh, Chaos Warriors pack for the uh, Total War Warhammer, which is their Total War game, which is based off of Warhammer, which is, you know, kind of self-evident. Um, and, well, I'm going to start by going ahead and saying that, well, it makes, it looks fucking cool. I really want this shit, this stuff looks awesome. But, it's just a chance like, what the fuck? Like, the whole notion of them having this makes zero sense to me. Why are they announcing this? Because, they all they came out like, oh yeah, we're going to have four factions in the game, chaos will be in mysteriously, but we don't really know what that capacity is going to be in, really. And, uh, they're like, yeah, four factions, they'll be around, and whatever. But then they go ahead... And they announced, oh yeah, Chaos is going to be the fifth playable faction in this game that has four playable factions only, compared to Attila, which came out with like more like ten, I think. And it's just like, they are having people get pre-order this, and get it for free, or are they going to charge people after launch? And don't get me wrong, I want the stuff, because it looks fucking cool. But it's bullshit. The game comes out in April. April. They haven't even had a, f uh, a faction and race video for um, orcs or uh, vampires. At least we know about the orcs. The orcs are, uh, you know, around. Um, they're in a bunch of the promotional material. But only the Empire and Dwarves have actually had a video that focuses on them. And Creative Assembly's like, ah, you know, we don't fucking need the vampires, you know, the faction that everybody wanted to be in the game in the first place, so we put them in because we wanted to be different. And so we can have justify selling chaos separately. So they don't even show us all of the factions in the base game yet. And six months before launch, the game comes out in April. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, here's the DLC. You're gonna have to pay extra for this. We clearly have all of this shit already made. It's not even like, oh okay, you know, it's a month before launch, two months before launch. No, they have half a year. Half an entire year. And yet they have so clearly all of this shit already made. And it's just going to be so perfect. It's going to be done. You know, it's going to be a complete product by the time it comes out. But instead of, you know, just including it in the game, because Chaos is, you know, the most prevalent and kind of permeating aspect of all of Games Workshop's canon, they're like, nah, you know... We'll have them separate, because, you know, vampires. But it's just weird, because if you look down here... So here's the description. Pre-order, and you too will lay the base to the old world as the dreaded Chaos Warriors. The Chaos Warriors pack brings a new race with its own legendary lore, zenith, mounts, items, quests, chains, and mechanics to a total Warhammer, such as three new playable legendary lords, new Chaos Warrior mounts, new quests, new Horde campaign playstyle, how the fuck are these new? The game isn't even out yet. It's not even like, oh, you know, like we had the game, we realized we could add this shit to it. It's like, no. This faction was made before the vampires. Before one of the other factions in the game was done. And they're like, oh, well, here's all the new shit. The new shit, as in before, six months before release shit. But also, three new playable legendary lords. What the fuck does that even mean? They haven't even told us how... What the hell lords are? As far as I'm aware, they've been following the progression of this game pretty closely. It's like, are there multiple lords for the base factions? Because they haven't said anything. All they said is he plays Karl Franz and uh, Thorgrim Grudgebearer. They don't have anything about multiple lords. So it's like, is this unique to Chaos? Or is this a mechanic that they haven't even revealed yet, but they wanted to reveal their DLC so they can get the pre-order money? It makes no sense. It's like, you know, like, if they're going to uh, do it, and I would go up, look up uh, on Steam, but I feel like I actually can't get there with OBS, that they are just completely, uh, rather, like, if you look at Attila, the faction packs are like 750 or something. So what, they're going to charge another $7 for something that's already made? Like, what the fuck? It doesn't make sense. I don't know. 
you know, maybe we're missing something, but the fact of the matter is they haven't told us. We know barely anything about the game. We know there's underground maps. We know that there's immortal characters. We know that uh, generals and agents are kind of the same thing. But, like, we don't know what the fuck a lord is. But they're already announcing more lords as if they told us. Like, I just, I don't get it. Why? Like, they could have just been like, oh yeah, here's awesome shit. Buy our game for $60. But no, they're like, oh, here's awesome shit. Buy our game without knowing how good it is. Or, wait, and then buy our game for another 11% price increase. It just doesn't get it. And look here. 124,000 people have watched this video. 7,000 dislike. That's almost 1 in 3. That's between 1 in 3 and 1 in 4. It's probably like 28% dislike. So I'm going to throw my lot in there. Because yes, this shit looks awesome. It looks great. It looks fun. It looks well crafted. But why are they announcing it to be a separate entity? We're not even close to launch. So yeah. That's my shtick. That's my spiel. On uh, this. I still look forward to the game, but if this is how they're going to approach the business model, it's just like, what the fuck? Like, this is what they've been doing. I don't know why anybody's surprised, but I think we're all rightfully angry about this. It's not even like, oh, you know, if they reversed it, oh, you know, they decided to add the vampires in, in the end. You know, that's fun, that's different, you know, people want that, that's cool. But it's chaos. Like, the crux of Warhammer. Like, nothing in Warhammer would be happening if it weren't for chaos fucking shit up. But you have to pay extra money to fuck shit up. So yeah. That... That's how I feel about this. At least my initial reactions. You know, maybe they'll come out and explain why it's so important and so imperative that they have six months to not have this be part of the base game. But, uh... I don't know. Let me guys know what you think. Do you think this is bullshit like I do? Um, or do you not? But, uh, I guess without further ado, thank you guys for watching. You know, be sure to leave in the comments, you know, what you think. If you want to see more stuff like this. And, well, if not, I'll see you guys next time.